Now we're the list of known dumbs in the USA. And this is a real important part where the plus is underground, I'm sorry, under white hat controlled. The stars where children were rescued. This is, this is where you can think of it as an arrow, it's under battle. The equal sign, like two negatives, is under black hat control. So that's what you can think of. The arrow is under battle. You know, it's like the ampersand. And then the equal is under black hat control. The squiggly has been destroyed. Just think about, uh, I guess, rolling hills because a, a building was turned into dust or something, right? So that's how you can remember what these codes mean. For now here's Alaska, Brooks Range, Delta Junction, Fort Greeley. We're just going to kind of go through all of these really quickly. You know, I don't know if you just want to say the name because um, you probably pronounced them correctly. Mount Hayes. Yeah, I'll read the names as go. Okay. For I can't read that one anyway. Okay, yeah, that gave you the hardest one. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Air Force Base, Gates Pass Base. <laughs> and uh, on that, most military bases have a dumb under them. Almost every, every major airport in the world that's like for a big city or an international airport will have a dumb. The big, big um, hospitals will have dumbs under them because it's a good supply of people they can do experiments on, if, especially if they don't have relatives that would check on them. And in that, also, if you have relatives that are in a major prison, I would check on them as often as you can because that's a population that they can do anything to. And if they even wound up dead or dying they can blame it on an event in the prison so there you know a lot of people are put in prison for minor crimes and things and then the big powerful people are going into prison for what they should be going into which is massive crime and so that gives them a pop a, a population they have total access to so like the what prison that's out here uh west of denver area is a huge prison and you can see the dumb stuff there you can mm -hmm. see it underneath that prison where they have the big huge hills and mounds they build up with the entrances going in there yeah. and i just coast through them well if there's something unusual hualapai mm -hmm. Rican, i'll just say names that people that may not be able to say mm -hmm. Blake canyon which is sedona area there's two in sedona one under the city and one in boyton canyon yucca mountains <clears throat> Wiki up. Now we're in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thinking for the people on the podcast, Gene, that can't read, can't see this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we've been through all of these. Yeah, that's so. true. Yeah, California, Castle Hill Force Base, Base Camp Pendleton, 29 Palms Marine Base, China Lake. So I can read every base if you want. I Darwin just, City. So California, just read the bases. They go by Darwin City, Deep Springs, Fort Irwin, Edwards Air Force Base. Pictures of air, of a bunch of that. Yeah, that's Edwards Air Force Base, George Air Force Base, Helendale, Los Angeles, under the entire city. Tehachapi has, whoa, go back up. Mm -hmm. Go back up. Hey, I still miss something. <laughs> okay, Tehachapi Mountains. Oh, that's in the Tehachapi Mountain area in by Los Angeles as well. Okay, never mind. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Mount Shasta, Kern River, Napa Valley, Norton Air Force Base, Quincy near Palmdale, Presidio, San Bernardino, Santa Barbara County, Santa Rosa. <clears throat> Sierra Nevada Mountains, Tehachapi, Trona, Benicia, Catalina Islands, Chocolate Mountains, Death Valley, Lancaster, Lawrence, Lawrence Livermore, that's a kind of a double facility, Moreno Valley, Morongo Valley, Mount Lassen, Lancaster, Yano, Needles, Palmdale. Giving your voice a workout. Thanks, Gene. Tehachapi, <laughs> Cocoa Weef. Peak, Norton Air Force Base, Palmdale, and then Colorado, Alamosa, Book Cliffs, Boulder, Colorado Springs, that's NORAD, totally now under White Hat control along with Denver and DIA. Cheyenne Mountain, of course that's NORAD. Entrance to it right there, at least a tunnel. 25 ton blast doors, woof.
Yeah, case hardened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mark Collins mentioned the Denver DIA complex. Um, I got somebody that's in Colorado that just told me is to, that works at, at DIA that said there's also buildings on, that are grade located north and east on the east and west side of the runways that just have a little gravel parking lot with a, usually you see just like one car sitting there. So that's tunnel uh, elevators going down into the dump. Thank you for the person that sent me that information. I'm hoping you can send me photographs. <laughs> I can put them on here. Mm. <laughs> all the satanic stuff and the baggage claim. Now I'll mention this. This is a um, ongoing document, Gene, and the researchers are going to continue to just update this. So, yeah. talking about DIA and all everything going on there. Pictures of DIA runways. It's in the swastika. Scary stuff. Tum, dumb ton entrances at Grand, I guess at Grand Mesa. At Grand Mesa, Montrose Creed, Delta, Falcon Air Force Base, Gore Range near the lake, San Juan Valley, Telluride, Warden Valley, Montrose, Springfield, Grand Junction, Connecticut, Northwest Connecticut, Florida, Port St. Lucie, Lucie, Eagleton Air Force Base, Georgia, Atlanta, under the entire city, as well as the airport specifically is the major entrance, Thomasville. This new stuff, Gene, here? Yes. So, Thomasville, uh, scroll back up there. We'll start with the beginning of that dump. Mm-hmm. So, Thomasville, at that lo- location of the Lat Lawn, you see there, it's a FEMA Regional Center. They also had, tr- as most FEMA Regional Centers, they have search and destroy troops stationed in the dump, which are known as renegade civ- uh, civilian operational troops. Their u- the units are involved mostly are a foreign military. So scroll up, please, Rick. When martial law was to come in uh, into America after World War III, when they were planning Hillary getting in to nuke the US and most of the world, they, these UNISF and UN, UNIMNTF, which stands for United Nations International Security Forces and United Nations Multinational Task Forces, the troops located in these dumps in the U.S. and Canada were to be deployed to round up millions of Americans. In other words, everyone who survived the nuclear war, whose the names would have, uh, of everybody is either on a red list or a blue list. The red list means you're dangerous and just get rid of you right away. The blue list means you could be trainable and used for slave labor. These troops are Chinese, Russian, German, Polish, Japanese, Ukrainian, Saudi Arabian, Pakistani. Mexican, Honduran, Salvadorian, Chinese, Vietnamese, and other foreign trained military Delta forces, Mark Ultra Delta forces. They were to create and harbor and do the search and separation of all citizenry in the FEMA camps and the dumps, along with mass executions for those that would be on the red list. Um, and you can see my previous decode on that on FEMA camps where I showed car, uh, car uh, trains and cars with you know, shackles and things on the bottom to take people to these areas, as well as mass coffins, like on the border of Colorado and Kansas, there was big, huge areas like that. You can see it on, if you go on YouTube and you can see many sites that have that. It's ABC says that Walmart FEMA camp conspiracy is now fact with a link there. You can Wow, ABC actually said that. ABC must be getting under white hat control. <laughs> that way they changed the link. Woohoo! Winning, winning, winning. Of course, of course this is 2018, June 2018. This was. Wow. But wow. 2018. Mm-hmm. The article didn't say that before. Uh, okay. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Dobbins Air Force Base and then Hawaii. Ali Mano Center, and it links through tunnels that went to all the bases under, for example, in Oahu, the the military bases at Kaneohe, as well as the one by Mililani and the one uh, Pearl Harbor Hickam complex. It also went to all the other islands, especially on uh, Maui. There's a facility there that they were taking people from Maui. And so all the islands in Hawaii are essentially a dumb complex. It's all now under white hat control. Idaho, they are in the Cascade, Lower Goose Lake area near Oakley. <clears throat> and then Sandpoint, which is near Goose Creek. 
or Grouse Creek, excuse me, south, south central Idaho, near the Snake River and underneath the river in Indiana, it's Bedford and Lawrence area and Kokomo. Kansas is Atchison, that's a DIPEF facility, Fairview, Kinsley, Hutchinson, Kansas City, under the entire city. And then in Maryland, it's of course many, which is Camp David, which was the first one they cleaned out so the president would have a place to go that's safe and below Fort Meade, the hammer, as you see here. They got that NSA got control of the hammer so they can control and have everything and control all the comms and they literally monitor every comm worldwide. So that's why, as Q said, we have it all. And then in Olney, there's a dumb Suitland, Edgewood Arsenal, that's a huge um, Mark Ultra facility where they, it's the premier Mark Ultra facility almost in the entire US. Some of the ultras that contacted me talk about this a lot. I've had emails back and forth and phone conversation with a couple that have been in this arsenal and seen the depravity of what they do down there, as well as uh, when we get to DC, everything under DC was tunnels for trafficking children and people for the big parties that the previous presidents, not the current one, would have like, you know, order out pizza and hot dogs and, and cheese pizza and, and pasta. And you can go on the FBI list and see what those words mean. Or there's a, if you look up the new movie, there's a, another person that put out a movie. You'll see if you bring up that new movie, Out of Shadows, you'll see other movies now that are out that go into the code words for this type of activities that go into that. In Massachusetts, we have Maynard <coughs> and Iron Mountain in Michigan, Battle Creek, Gwynn, under Lake Superior, the entire under the lake, that the center of that lake underneath it is the hub where there's many tunnels that come and intersect. So they, it's kind of like an exchange area where they can go up into different parts of Canada or down into different parts of the US. So it's a, a dumb tunnel hub there as well. Then in Missouri, 12 miles south of Lebanon in the Bat Dry Dead Men, Howell Cluster of Caves, the St. Francis Mountains under Kansas City, Missouri as well. And there's a lot of big rigs and things that were coming and going out of that dumb. That was where they route all the big rigs. The 18 wheelers would come and take the stores down all under the, for the, the Illuminati down there to be ready for 150 years for over 1 million of them down there after all that nuclear radiation and stuff and the world died or if they did a, like we see now, biological things, then they could go down there and wait for it to clear out, come back up. And now that we had a situation where people bought so much stuff so quick due to the the virus it activity they started reversing the flow of that and bring it since they have a lot of these dumps taken over they were bringing those supplies up and restocking the stores with some of the long-term stores that were down though down there in montana we have bose bozeman pink melody mount greena montana state university in Bozeman, Nebraska, North Central Ab Nebraska, Red Willow, near McCook, and Kinsley in Nevada, Blue Diamond in Groom the in Nevada as well, Groom Lake, which is composed of Area 51, uh, which is known also as Dreamland. Then there was a separate one, which used to be part of Area 1, 51 is now in independent called The Area, and another one called The Spot, another one called Red Square, which is also called Sally Quarter. Uh, quarter in Watertown. Those are different ones. The CIA is there. It's a black hat stealth cloaking research facility as well as a data repository to establishment of maintenance of land throughout the that they were going to grab everything as well as the Elmont Electromagnetic Intelligence Biological Weapons Research and Genetic in Manipulation Warfare Storage Cold Empire EVA program HIS which is hybriding human intelligence with uh, artificial intelligence as well as BW and CW type research and then IRAIS, which is infrared intruder systems. The security, you know, with those type of systems, you have above ground sensors, all types, as well as pressure sensors, ground and air patrol and satellite coverage. Then we had a two large dump complex that were the Groom Lake and the Papoose Cockeye, uh, Papoose Ridge and Cockeyed Ridge area, which was an S4 type base. And it's many, many levels deep 
and 39 miles of runway uh, on Groom Lake. Then we had a, a multiple site, which was an S2 site, an S4 site, an S44 site, an S6 site, an S66 site. So you had just all those different, you know, you had essentially right there five dumps all rolled into interconnected that went 29 levels, essentially 11,300 feet deep. In Quartzsite Mountain, southeast of Tonopah, there's a dumb. Tonopah Air Force Base, the Air Force Base, there's another dumb. In Blue Diamond was another dumb, is another dumb that's now under White Hat control. Keep going, Rick. Thalen Air Force Base and San Gabriel. In New Hampshire, the three underground installations were up in New Hampshire's hills that you got through the Wheelock uh, Park in New Hampshire. The gematria for wheel lock, I, I <laughs> made this so it's understandable to somebody, including myself. So I went back to my original decode. So if we do the gematria in Jewish, that stands for high level global elite. In other words, that's what that base is for. It also decodes for Jack the Ripper, or anybody who knows what he did. That's part of what they're doing down there for to get what they call AT&T soul scalping. So they're trying to scalp souls down there. English, it goes into submerged. Obviously, it's submerged and Snowden, and we know what he did. The tunnel goes from Monadnock all the way to Monadnock Mountain, which has a big dumb under it, and they take people from Monadnock Mountain Park, which is a state park there as well. That because uh, the Monad part is an elementary individual substance which reflects the order of the world from which material properties are derived, and the knock is a notch on an arrow where you put the bowstring in or the area on the bowstring for that or the notch itself. Go ahead, up, Rick. And Monad knock in Jewish Gematria means the meaning of life, draconian, and look here, because they're trying to get to the meaning of life and they're doing things draconian. And look here uh, means that, you know, they want to find the meaning of life. That's where they're looking. In English, the Gematria is battle. The Chesamba Obama, Obama and Shinar. Shinar is one of Satan's names and the coming race because they wanted to be the coming race. Alien beings such as those involved with El Magog and Gog. And spell God is here. In other words, their God, which is obvious with the next one i am sharon which is another name for satan and the blue owl el gog we know about the owl bit again with the, the bohemian grove and gog and magog war before the rapture of course that's was exactly what they want to do and then chisama obama is a uh, area that was in some zambia where 53 people were killed and it's believed to that was done by obama and Chiron was a, not only just a name of Satan, but it's also a centaur that was created by Satan. And Shinar, like I said, is one of his name as well as other names such as Baal, Moloch, Belus, Bay, and, and are Draconian. Draconian means of the god of Draco. The Draco is also a severe code of laws that are framed by him. It also means those, of course, those laws are cruel and severe. Then the next, a dumb we have in that state is Portsmouth Naval Shipyard that has a dumb tunnel that connects to the Connecticut River so submarines can go up into Portsmouth Naval Shipyard underwater. In New Jersey, we have the following dumps, Pickney Arsenal at that latitude and longitude. In New Mexico, we have the huge Dulce complex, as you see here. That's the big, anytime you see these big, huge vent fans on the ground, not on top of a building, you're obviously venting stuff underground. The earth doesn't need ventilation, and that's a good way to spot dumps. <sighs> or you see this weird sudden change in the structure of the ground. <laughs> There's obviously something going on down there. So 150 through 152 in New Mexico is the White Sands Alamogordo three dump facility. And then under Albuquerque, the entire thing that's accessed through the airport and Kirtland Air Force Base. And then in Dattel and Pie Town, which was the Cal Carlsbad Cavern area as well. Then Los Alamos and Taos area facility. The Taos facility um, was accessed and runs all the way under I-25. And the Los Alamos is one of the oldest dumps. It goes back to 1940s. You can imagine how much they've been doing down there. And it was started to be taken back. And they're going in there as of 5 a.m. two days ago. In other words, Friday, 5 a.m. Hmm. Uh, Time. Angel Angel Peak is the Carlsbad Caverns uh, 
more of the area of Carlsbad as well as the Dulce facility, which is huge and huge and one of their highest technology. That's near the Hickory Indian Reservation. All right, we and, and we're are we're, are we caught up to? I don't think we've quite caught up, have we? To, Not right, Portland Air Force Base, Manzano Mountains, Pie Town, Cordova, Sunspot, Sandia Mountains, uh, View View Tree Mountain, uh, north of Taos Pueblo, the Santa Fe Battle, Santa Fe, under Santa Fe, the city of Santa Fe is in battle right now. White Sands under the entire area. Thank you, Ken. These are White Sands pictures, and yeah, as well as the entrances and the locations, you see the, the the what looks like water towers. They quite often use those to get into dumps. New York, we have the Adirondack Mountains near Elizabethtown and the New York New York Metro area, which the control is in progress right now. They're using the viruses cover. There's a chance we went through that earlier, where they're bringing up some of the children and things and putting them in those because they need a. a diffused lighting situation and we went through these pictures showing the various details and talked about what we're seeing there previously quite a bit of pictures from central park all pointing toward very disturbing uh, yeah items for uh for children nutrition uh for for dehydration for trauma all kinds of uh, things that we talked about in the last show on Friday night. If you want to get into the details of uh, what praying medic needs to watch, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> maybe he'll maybe he'll understand that. Uh, I also focus these pictures so you can see things better where their focus was damaged. I altered it slightly to bring up the focus or the bring down yeah. contrast better. Because it's basically down to, uh, there's a lot of stuff happening in this silent war that we're not going to see, right? That's the point is, uh, there's the trauma rooms. It's clearly a trauma room. The backpacks used for foster care people. Then you have the the uh, humidifier that's a dolphin, and uh, the lighting and the way they've done it is uh, for is for trauma victims. And so now this is re uh, refreshing. Yeah, we've got little tiny beds there. Mm -hmm. I mean, those beds, most of them aren't big enough for an adult, and you can see they're actually made out of children's desks from school. And yeah. they have desks from school so they can sit there. They're partly attached to that and they can sit there and go to a desk and write things and, you know, draw pictures and things. Yeah, color. Yeah. So yeah. interesting. Why would you have a little school desk for adults and beds yeah. that are like four feet taunt long? To see one of those yeah. desks. Give it a shot. It's not very comfortable. And baby <laughs> incubators. Yeah. Yeah. For the person that said there's no such. Uh, thing with the children coming out of that. Why do you have incubators in the ship for adults? You wouldn't. <laughs> so massive evidence. We're not, you know, again, again, a lot of stuff in this silent war. They're not going to let people know until they're ready to 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 get this out, right? The vice equals start. So we're no, we're not starting on really letting the world know too much about pedophilia. Although things like Out of Shadows really helps. Here's a yeah. sick Podesta art, Tony Podesta. That actually is showing some of the hybrid terrible things they've done, <clears throat> as well as some of the children's pictures there. Then we have Plattsburgh, North Carolina. We had Morgantown. And all the Morgantowns throughout all the states are part of J.P. Morgan and that family setting up their stuff. You can think there will always be dumps of satanic stuff going on in Morgantowns. They always do it because they brought the energy into that when they set it up in the first place. In Ohio, we have Sandpoint, which is at Idaho Cross Creek and Wright Patterson Air Force Base, which is Dayton. Uh, state, uh, st uh, excuse me, Stealth and Prototype Technology in Oklahoma. We have Addo at that latitude, longitude. This base does human cloning, and it's also the FEMA's most sensitive base. We haven't done this part yet, Rick. We're ahead. Oh, of I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ashland Naval Ammunitions Depot at that latitude and longitude. And then okay, these are you... white hat control on both of them. That's good news. Yes, everything in Oklahoma. And you can see the earthquakes um, on the earthquake map. That's just a satellite look at from Google Earth, looking at that dumb entrance and location in the small city they put up on top of it. 
okay, now you can go up, Rick. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Also, when you see something bizarre as this out in the middle of nowhere. It's like white out potentially, right? You're talking about. <laughs> yep. That's an actual naval ammunition dump. They're for all the ammunition that are going to use for the ops that I was saying later, the renegade earlier, the renegade civilian ops in Oregon. We have Bull Run, north side of Bull Run Reservoir near Mount Hood and Larch Mountain in the Benson State. Uh, Benson Street Park of the Columbia Gorge. And then we have a three dump complex, the Coos Bay area, which has a submarine entrance also that went all the way to China Lake. Then we, we also have Klamath Falls that has been around since September of 95. It had a large number of New World Order groups, including the Air, scroll up please, Rick. The Air National Guard, FEMA, CIA, FBI, and Spetsnaz, which is the Nazi SS, and the Mossad, which is the Israeli Secret Service, training bases there, and, and an underground concentration camp. Some of the 911 survivors, because they did not use the planes, there were no planes that hit the buildings, that's holograms. So there are videos you can see where the you can't see the holograms do the filters they use and you, the building blows up without a plane hitting it or the plane goes through the building comes out the other side really good job on the holograms there was yeah that was a shocker when i saw one of the from a local station there this blows and there was no plane and then all the national stations you, you see the plane coming into the building it was just wild yeah, this guy has a website that you can actually has another one where you can see the plane flight hit the building flight come out the other side of the building and keep on flying <laughs> it was a good job oh, really it's a bad good. job on that hologram huh? so cave junction near hope mountain close to applegate lake that's built in an abandoned mine underneath crater lake and under uh woodman windbear which is the ashland mountain area it's used for chemical storage many levels deep go ahead scroll up rick and in pennsylvania the blue ridge summit near raven rock that's site r uh, it's an electronic nerve center. You know, there were 350 staff there. It goes over 650 feet below the surface where it starts. It's 716 acre area. It's connected to Camp David via tunnels. Um, it's for was for control of slaves via their satellite systems, uh, demonically as well. The underground complex has allowed uh, the government of the United States to escape nuclear attack. That was what it was develop, developed for and built for. It's an enormous complex that radiates under all of DC and that has old fluorescent lighting. It's very old when, in other words, with ceramic tile and all that, that's a very old way of doing the domes. Now they're just glass surface through the machines that melt them. It's for mind control and sex slaves and child trafficking for the big parties in the White House and things that the presidents used to have, like the bummers and all of those guys previously used to do. Then also there's the Raven uh, Dom near Lingonier, uh, uh, Legionnaire, sorry. And then that goes underneath the Pentagon and that's part of the Mount Weather Complex. In Texas, we have the Fort Hood Complex at that latitude and longitude. That's for the high level Mark Ultras, which are Delta, M more, uh, MK, ultra orion link teams that are psychically linked so they can attack like one organized individual like we see in some of these foxtrot foxtrot type situations i'm sorry to hear that somebody in the chat said there was a, such a situation in canada today so prayers for canada denton that latitude and longitude that's a fema reg fema regional center it's highly secret the red river arsenal also the calvert the fort hood detainment camp and fort stockton in utah utah this was taken out just recently last month dugway proving ground and under which is area 52 and then under salt lake city and the kennecott copper company which was the lds that's their huge gold storage and supplies and foods and that's all now in white hat control they're repatriating the gold to where it belongs in the u.s treasury as well as giving this that's the one primarily because it was really easy to bring the supplies out ship it through the country to get into the into stores for the people when they bought up years of supply of toilet paper and everything else that they needed you know i mean it's smart i mean get ready right <laughs> so go ahead and scroll up right and that was part that was all illuminati as well as the kkk they also had the dna library for the world there anybody who had gotten a vaccine since the polio vaccine started they got through your dna and so they housed all that there like you saw in the um old 
TV series, uh, the X Files, where they showed that actually that was actually filmed in there. It was hilarious with Mueller was going in there. You could see all the DNA files. And that's located in the Salt Lake City area. It was accessed by the Union Pacific Railroad. The train literally could go into the dumb. It's also connected to the Mormon Church. Directly under the church can get in there. The mine receives a heavy volume of traffic after 11 p.m. even to this day because they're now reversing the flow. That's the Granite Mountain facility entrance that you can see right there in that picture. Thank you for High Vibratory for putting that in. That's awesome. Mount Nebo, Salem, and Twin Peaks dumps. In Virginia, there's the Blue Mount, Blue Mont Mount Weather Base. That's for the FEMA Federal Emergency Management Agency prep for into the world type scenarios. Again, it's a small city. It also has top secret things going on down there as well. It contains a complete secret government that had people down there for many, many, many administrations without ever rotating that were controlling our government previously to this to Trump coming in. Culpepper at that latitude longitude. And that's an Illuminati Federal Reserve over 140,000 square foot facility. Uh, you get to it from off of Culpepper, two miles east of Route 3, it includes a facility for storage for corpses and it monitors because they, you know what they like to do. Uh, monitors major transactions and fed wire and electronic systems. And there's the pennant Pentagon Arlington dumb that's under the Pentagon all the way to Arlington. And then there's two dumbs, 205 and 206, which are the Warrington Training Center uh, that's accessed from Route 802 via the Bear Wallow Road on Butree Mountain. They're known as Station A and B. Then in Treasure Island, there's the nuclear waste facility. They always use nuclear waste to enhance their Orion Delta troops. They're genetically engineered so that it will enhance them. That's troops for end time programming that have the end time program, the Janus and the Lexus and other type end time programming. They take control uh, by White House during Hurricane Doreen. So that was cleared out during Hurricane Doreen. And then lastly is in that state is Mount Pony, which is near Culpeper. In Washington state, there's Mount Rainier at that latitude and run, latitude longitude, which is the Bothell complex. It's a FEMA regional center and in Washington, uh, D.C., the White House, of course, underneath the White House, and that's for high-level intelligence. Both the NSA and the CIA used to use it, not anymore. <laughs> because there was a, remember when they said Satan's no longer in the White House? <laughs> that's what they're talking about. They care right. about that. Oh, uh, Q, Satan, <laughs> Lucifer, Satan's left the House, mm -hmm. White House. They cleaned the dumb out, so now the only the NSA gets to use it. That's so awesome. They actually had a satanic temple down there two different ones, which is the uh, Supreme Council of the 33rd Scottish Ray, 33 degrees of 13 chairs of the Illuminati families, the top families of the Grand, Grand Druid Council would meet down there and do their witchcraft and all that stuff. The NOD deep underground installations have many levels to it. That's all now under white hat control and all that's been shut down, all that satanic stuff. In West Virginia, there was Sugar Grove, that's the Navy secret intelligence service microwave communication center and the white sulfur springs facility which is under greenbrier hotel that's a mini city that was to house 800 people uh specifically congress and senate it's equipped with its own crematorium it's a each a very very old you can actually get tours of this one um facility that was built as a fallout shelter in case you know for end time situations for way back in the 50s it has very like four foot thick concrete walls with lead in the walls to keep the nuclear radiation out and everything there's a whole thing on fallout shelters that you have a link to yeah so it goes in all of how these these shelters like greenbrier are built and how they get the walls and the concrete and everything. They show you, oh, really? <laughs> they treat Congress. You get a little tiny thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's your, your eating place and your sleepy place. Oh, boy. <laughs> you guys get primo facility, huh? You think the elite live like that? Mm. Not even. Yeah. Think of you. <laughs> mm. 
there's a, a little better, nicer area there. Of course, you see the black and white Masonic floor of the dark and light that they always symbolize. Oh. Like green the, the play between Delta. dark and light. How they get the Very Masonic. Get a page up and look at that while I do this picture of the, of course, a facility can get under here in DC. I know the entrance to the Greenbrier and the, all the other stuff. That's Greenbrier Hotel Lake. Like I said, it's a secret nuclear bunker and there's a couple of different links you can go there and look at that. The Greenbrier facility was intended for a continuity of government facility to house the United States Congress codenamed Casper. The bunker is beneath the West Virginia wing, which includes a complete medical clinic. Construction of the facility began in 1959. The still reinforced concrete walls of the bunker are 20 feet below ground and are two feet thick. The facility includes separate chambers for the House of Representatives and the Senate, as well as a larger room for joint sessions. These are in the exhibit hall of the West Virginia Wing, which includes vehicular and pedestrian entrances, which can be quickly sealed by blast doors. They don't even hide this one, and it's even a tourist attraction. Greenbrier is a replica of the White House. We're done with the U.S., sir. Wow.